This is the self-care portion of the holistically speaking. And so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to use the block in your yoga practice. So I invested in these really awesome blocks. I treated myself. They're a cork and they're from Jade Yoga. I love Jade Yoga. I use their yoga mats. I have their rubber mat here and then I have their rug mat on top. It's a little extra padding. And so the the purpose of using the yoga block in your practice is it brings the floor up a little bit for you. So we're going to be doing just a short little sequence that is going to kind of give you an idea of how the block can bring the floor to you in this particular sequence. All you need is a block and you don't need the block here, but you can kind of imagine if you don't have a block, how that would come in handy for you in your practice. So we're going to do a little bit of a warm up. I don't want to go into the sequence too cold. So we'll do a little bit of a warm up here and how we're going to start is have a few, a couple rounds of our sun salutations. It's a good way to get a good warm up in. So we'll come to the top of our mat, feet hip width apart, toes are forward. We're then just going to take this slow. Inhale, both arms up, exhale, forward fold, inhale, tabletop spine. On this exhale, we're going to step our right foot back, followed by the left foot, shifting to plank, shifting forward. Elbows graze the ribs, lower yourself down, engage the glutes. Inhale to cobra up dog. Exhale, tuck your toes, come back to downward dog. Good. From here, we'll look at the space between our hands and walk your feet to your hands, meeting in forward fold. Inhale, tabletop spine. Engage the glutes as you bring that torso up. Exhale, come back to forward fold. Engage the glutes again. We'll inhale both arms up. And exhale, guide your hands to your heart center. So the glutes are kind of like a pulley system. They can, you can engage them to help you come down and to pull you back up, to reel you back up. So try to use your glutes in that way this next round. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, forward fold, engaging the glutes on the way down. Inhale, tabletop spine. On this exhale, we're gonna step our left foot back followed by the right foot. Shifting to plank, shifting forward. Elbows, graze the ribs, lower yourself down, engage the glutes. Inhale to cobra up dog. Exhale, tuck your toes. Come back to downward dog. We'll pause here for a breath. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Long exhale out. Good. Looking at the space between our hands, we'll walk our feet to our hands. Meeting in forward fold. Inhale, tabletop spine. Exhale, come back to forward fold. Remember, engage the glutes here. Inhale, both arms up. And exhale, guide your hands to your heart center. Good. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, tabletop spine. On this exhale, step your right foot back, followed by the left foot. Shifting to plank, shifting forward. Elbows, graze the ribs, lower yourself down, engage the glutes. Inhale to cobra up dog. Exhale, tuck your toes, come back to downward dog. Looking at the space between our hands, we'll walk our feet to our hands, meeting in forward fold. Inhale, tabletop spine. And exhale, back to forward fold. Engage the glutes here. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, guide your hands to your heart center. Inhale, both arms up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, tabletop spine, squeezing the glutes. Exhale, we're going to step our left foot back, followed by the right foot, shifting to plank, shifting forward. Elbows, graze the ribs. Lower yourself down, engage the glutes. Inhale to cobra up dog. Exhale. Tuck your toes back to downward dog. Take a deep inhale through the nose here. Good, long exhale out. 
looking at the space between our hands. We're going to walk our feet to our hands, meeting in forward fold. Inhale, tabletop spine. Exhale, come back to forward fold. From here, we'll inhale both arms up. And exhale, guide your hands to your heart center. Awesome. So I love sun salutations because it's kind of like a full body warm up. And you can do a few rounds and feel pretty warm. <clears throat> so we're going to be doing our triangle pose. We're going to open up our feet. And grab your block. <clears throat> Just so you can have it handy in front of you. You can place your hands on your hips, tuck the pelvis under slightly if that feels comfortable. Inhale, lifting tall through your spine. And on the exhale, you're going to hinge at the hips until you meet your mat. So from here, first, you're going to reach past through the feet, past the heels on the floor, just to see where your flexibility is now. And then we'll come back and remeasure that after this sequence. So just reaching past the heels, come back to the center. We're going to walk over to our right foot first. I'm going to mirror you here. Turn that right foot out, bring the block with you. First, your hands are on, going to be on either side of your right foot. Stay right there. <clears throat> this is an opportunity also to show you can use two blocks here if this was way too much of a stretch in the hamstring inner thigh. But for now, I will just show it here. So our hands are on either side of our right foot. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And on the exhale, guide your nose toward your right knee. Good. Inhale through the nose. Long exhale out. You can also have a slight bend in the knee here if that's more comfortable for you. Eventually working the knee to a straight position. Inhale through the nose. Long exhale out, but not locked. Relaxed. Inhale through the nose. Good. Long exhale out. Now we're going to take that block with our right hand and place it on the inside of our right foot. You can place your hand flat. You can grip the block, however you're comfortable. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open up the torso and then extend that left arm up towards the sky. You can see I have a little bend in my left knee. Inhale through the nose, long exhale out. Inhale through the nose, long exhale out. Good, inhale through the nose, long exhale out. Awesome, bring that left hand down. We're gonna walk our hands to the center, bring the block with you. Turn the right toes forward. We're just going to hang here for a second. Take a deep inhale through the nose and a long exhale out. Then we'll walk over to our left foot. Turn the toes out. Bring the block with you so you have it within arm's distance. Our hands will be on either side of our left foot. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, guide your nose toward your left knee. Inhale through the nose. Long exhale out. Inhale through the nose. Good. Long exhale out. Inhale through the nose. Long exhale out. Now we'll take that block, bring the floor up a bit. Placing your hand flat or you can grip the block, whichever is comfortable on your wrist. Or if the block is stable enough, you can do your fist. But sometimes those foam ones are a little wobbly. So please, please be careful. Once you're stable here, we're going to open up the torso first and then extend that right arm up towards the ceiling. <sighs> Inhale through the nose. Long exhale out. 
Inhale through the nose. Long exhale out. One more breath here. Inhale through the nose. Good, long exhale out. Bring that right hand down. From here, we're going to walk ourselves back to the center, turn the left toes forward. And remember, we reached past our feet, past our heels. See if you can reach a little further this time. Be careful with the balance. Then we'll walk ourselves to the center, heel toe your feet together, stopping at hip width apart. Have a micro bend in the knee and roll the torso up to standing. Perfect. And from here, we'll close with inhaling both arms up together and exhale. Guide your hands to your heart center. Awesome. So that's an awesome way or demonstration of how you can bring the floor up and that's how the block can be incorporated into your yoga practice.